NCLEX question of the day. So today we're going to be focusing on digoxin. Now before we dive into this question, can anybody tell me in the comments the therapeutic range for digoxin? All right, now let's dive into the question. So the nurse is caring for a patient recently prescribed digoxin PO for atrial fibrillation. Which of the following statements indicates a need for further teaching? Select all that apply. So remember, we are looking for an incorrect statement, okay? Sometimes people will go through the options and they forget that they're looking for something wrong. So treat it like a true and false and look for something that you need to provide further teaching. Option A, nausea and vomiting are common side effects of this medication, so I should take it with food. This is a statement that needs further teaching. Nausea and vomiting are GI effects that might indicate digoxin toxicity. So if this patient experiences that, they need to notify their healthcare provider. So option A is correct. Option B, I need to check my heart rate every morning before taking this medication. This is not an answer, so this statement is correct. Digoxin has a negative chronotropic effect, which is going to decrease the heart rate. So by making that statement, they understand the effects of this medication. Option C, I should see my optometrist if I notice I am having trouble reading with my glasses. Now this statement needs further education, so this is a correct option. This is commonly seen on NCLEX with digoxin. If you have any sort of visual impairment or disturbance or change in the way that you see things, then you need to notify your healthcare provider immediately because that is a sign of digoxin toxicity. Option D, I should hold the dose if my blood pressure is less than 110 over 70. This is a correct option because this statement needs further teaching. Digoxin does not affect your blood pressure, so you will not need to hold the dose for a lower blood pressure. Now, if you're still with me, here is some bonus information on DIG toxicity. So if DIG gets too high, then it can affect your neurological system. So if a patient presents with confusion, lethargy, weakness, we also want to notify our healthcare provider. So to wrap it up, DIG toxicity can be seen neurologically, visually with changes in vision, and GI, so nausea, vomiting, and abdominal pain. I hope you learned something. Follow for more.